What's up, everyone? Welcome to Last Longer, presented by Stride. I'm MLG Pro Player Shockwave, and today we're going to be evaluating some Halo 3 gameplay submitted by Hulk C. Let's check it out. Capture the flag. All right, we're here with Hulk C on CTF Narrows. Up beginning, he's charging top mid, trying to get top mid control. Probably the most standard play, especially off the beginning of Narrows. It's right here again. He's looking top mid. Teammate shot him. That's not gonna help him out too much. All right, so here he's got the sniper down in the bottom of the map. It was a good play by him to wait for that one guy R1. I mean, his teammate probably was communicating and letting him know he's coming back. It's a good idea keeping that sniper right on that spot and trying to make him a one shot or maybe getting the headshot, cleaning up the guy at his base. So right here, he's just kind of, kind of. Prize in the top, I guess, with the sniper, trying to hold it down. His team really hasn't spawned yet, isn't really far up the map yet, so he's just kind of trying to chill. So now he's, you know, getting up in an attic with a sniper rifle. This is probably the most basic spot people get up with a sniper rifle. I would say you stay alive maybe the longest getting up in there, but at the same time, good teams will be expecting you to get up in that attic. So a lot of times you might want to learn how to snipe from different spots in the lobby, maybe switch it up. I feel that it's always better to kind of bring the sniper up top and try to get some top control. So um, Hulk's right there. Maybe if he had gone up into an attic, or maybe if you know if he had pushed with his VR out, tried to you know help his teammates out right there, it would have ended up working out better. But uh, he did make some good plays right there. He made some good shots, and he did make a very smart move in trying to keep that flag run alive. All right, we're gonna go jump ahead in the match a little bit and pick things back up. This is a good play, trying to grab that flag, try to keep it running. Fortunately, <laughs> either he missed the button or lagged a little bit so he couldn't keep grabbing. Just unfortunate right there. Some good grenades, I really like this play, he's heading back towards his flag. And again, this is another smart play, um, just a little unfortunate he got up yard right there. but. Uh, he did stop this flag cap right here. Uh, Worthy, I don't know why, decided not to run the flag after his fight with Hulksy. Whereas if he had run the flag, there probably would have been a chance they might have capped that. Bit unfortunate, those guys are all over his base right now. So right here, it's a good play. We stay alive. I, if I was him, I'd probably stay and wait and let my shields get back maybe a little bit more before heading down and challenging him. I know if he, you know, he's going against like a neighbor type sniper rifle or a stair or something, chances are he's going to end up getting no scopes in a situation like that. So you kind of always want full shields before you pop back out. I mean, either your teammate's helping you and you know that the other person's not going to be shooting at you, or you're probably going to want to wait for your entire shields to come back. Good grenade on Worthy right there. Clearing out his flag, making sure that the blue team isn't going to get any, you know, lucky flag caps or like a lucky grab or some sort. I think that was the right move too by him. Tried to run away and didn't make it. Did not have a chance really in that situation. You know, he wasn't going to live if he was trying to fight anyone. I think it was a good move for him to back up, make sure that he tried to stay alive. Didn't work out. So this was a smart play by uh, Hooksy right here. He's trying to stay alive and again trying to prevent flag captures. They do a really good job of double teaming these guys, making sure they get their flag returns and win the game. Overall, I would give Hoaxie a B for this gameplay. He showed good positioning and restraint, finished his kills and prevented a few flag caps. However, he needs to reload more and go after the right kills in order to stay alive a little bit longer. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been MLG Pro Player Shockwave. Make sure to check out more Last Longer videos on MLGPro.com, presented by Stride, the ridiculously long-lasting gum.